Hi guys, welcome to the center. I am Misha. In this tutorial, I will show you how to set up Angular 2 application in ASP.NET MVC. If you haven't watched my previous video, which will show you how to install Visual Studio and how to set up your environment before developing the application, please go and watch that video, which because it's very important to uh, configure your environment before developing the application. So I highly recommend you to go and watch this video before starting this. Once you've done with your environment configurations, now you can open Visual Studio. Then go to File and create a new project. From here, under Visual C Sharp, select Web. Here you can see three web templates. One is uh, two is for .NET Framework, which is only for Windows, and one is for .NET Core. Select .NET Core and give a application name click ok from here you have to select the uh, core template so if you want to build an api you have to select web api so we have to select here web application and click ok um, make sure you have uh, changed the authentication to no authentication because we don't need uh, asp authentication to our application and click ok this will take few minutes to uh, create the application and uh, configure the Visual Studio environment. Okay, now you can see uh, this will restore all the uh, required packages for uh, .NET. So wait a few minutes or seconds to complete until complete this. Once everything is restored, we can start configuring the angular 2 app i will make this application as the seed project for uh, asp.net mvc so first of all you have to go to angular.io and click docs under uh, docs you can select a quick start here it will show you the basics and how to set up this angular 2 in a node.js environment i will show you how to do the same thing in asp.net mvc First of all, we have to add few configuration files to our application. First one is package.json. So go to Visual Studio, right click on your application, Explorer, and go to add, then click new item. Here, under client side, you can see npm configuration file. Click this, give the name as package.json and click add. Here, you can list all the packages you need. This package.json is used by npm package manager to identify the packages required. Second one is tsconfig.json. This file is used by TypeScript compiler to generate JavaScript. So, go to your application, then right click on your project and click add and go to new item. Here you can see TypeScript JSON configuration file. So keep the name as tsconfig, then click add. Next, next one is typings.json. This is used by a TypeScript compiler to give the intelligence. So you can simply copy this. go to add new item uh, search for json then you can select json and give the name as typings.json and click add this is just a, an empty uh, json file Next one is system.js.config.js 
this is, this is the file uh, which used by browser to identify the uh, required uh, JavaScript file. So we need to add this file in uh, under www root under js. If you need anything accessible publicly, you have to add it under www root. Otherwise, if you add outside the www root, browser is not uh, is not allowed to access any file under this. So it's very important to add these files under www root. So go to uh, new for item uh, explorer and under client side select JavaScript and give the name as systemjs.config.js so you can see it has added to uh, ww root but i wanted it to under j so i'll pull it to here i put it here so now we have added our all configuration files but we have to add uh, these configuration to our package uh, our application so as i said package json is the file which will uh, import all our dependencies of application so here you can see under dependencies the, uh, they have listed a uh, few dependencies so i will copy all of these dependencies other than bootstrap so simply copy this and go to your package.json file then you have to use that thing under dependencies so simply paste it here and click save now you can see in the output panel it does installing all the packages listed here so here also you can see it's restoring so all the packages are uh, restoring so still it is in uh, now you can see all the packages have been installed so even in your output window you can see uh, those details so here mm, if you click this show all files so here you will see a new file folder called node modules so this is what uh, angular will use in order to um, build the application here there are a few other stuff uh, under dev dependencies Th these are used by uh, node.js so we will not uh, need these things next we have to add uh, typescript configuration uh, settings so click tsconfig.json and copy this code open the tsconfig file on your application and replace this code now under compile option you have to add other uh, few uh, options one is uh, root dir so it should be the uh, your root application it's this one mm, then it was its app and the out dir this is where uh, output of the types file will be moved so it should be www root slash app so what this happens since uh, browser does not understand a typescript there is no point of keeping all the uh, types files in uh, www root so anyone can access the access our code so uh, so I keep my type three files in this and it will automatically move to uh, ww root uh, so to do that you have to enable compile and serve option so come outside the compile option and add a uh, compile on save option to true this will make uh, this automatic saving so it will automatically move to uh, ww root you have to remember only uh, TypeScript file will be moved. If you have include any uh, HTML file or any CSS file inside this uh, folder, it will not be moved. So you may have to use uh, or copy that, copy those uh, files under 
yes yeah, so I, I i i do not recommend you to include uh, html files and uh, css files under this so because uh, you have to manually copy it back to here so directly uh, copy uh, include those uh, html files and css files under ww root so we have done with the ts config file next we have to uh, add uh, typings so copy this typings code and open your typings json file open the package manager console or you can go to um, tools under uh, NuGet package manager select package manager console so here what you have to do type typings install so this will install all the typings mentioned in the typings.json so I got the error uh, and typings install here when you you can do like this so wait uh, try again if this, this didn't work uh, simply open the file location and open the command prompt type typings install this will install all the typings so now you can see under your project solution uh, there is a typings folder and all the typings have been installed now we can uh, add a system config.js configuration so this this file is used to uh, this file is used to add uh, all the uh, npm modules to browser so copy this code uh, go to uh, ww root and open the systemjs.config file and paste it here so once you did this uh, we have our configuration is over uh, we can start building the application